Eat your heart out, Godzilla. What? Only joking. Hello and welcome back to the Sharks world, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're going to be explaining how sharks survived and evolved through radiation. What the fuck? No, not that kind of radiation, but something called adaptive radiation. But before we get into that, I would once again like to extend an invitation to join the Sharks World Discord, as well as for you to check out and join some of my other content. Thanks in advance for your time. And with those caveats out the way, as always, ladies and gentlemen, grab you a Celsius, have a seat at the table, and let's take a look at how sharks evolved through radiation. So, let me set the scene for you in order to explain what adaptive radiation is. It's a well-known fact that sharks have been here for a long time. They survived five mass extinctions in a violent and ever-changing world. In this world, every animal occupies something known as an ecological niche. In simple terms, it's where an animal fits in in the natural world. Predators and prey of various regions and locations. It can actually be a lot more complicated than that, but for right now we'll stick with the simple definition for the sake of this video. Why this is important is because when a large number of animals die off, say with the mass extinction, it leaves open a ton of ecological niches. Any surviving species then have their pick of the litter of these new niches to take advantage of new resources. But in order to take advantage of them, species must first diversify, and this rapid diversification is what adaptive radiation is. There's a fantastic read of this from our friends at elasmaresearch.org, specifically the section called A Golden Age of Sharks. As always, I'm going to leave a link to this article in the description. I would highly recommend that you give it a read, as well as the subcategories on the side. But, back to the not-Godzilla radiation sharks. The first major radiation occurred during the Carboniferous period. I'm pretty sure I didn't butcher that name, but if I did, I'm sure someone will let me know in the comments. Roughly 360 to 286 million years ago, it followed a minor extinction event called the Carboniferous Rainforest Collapse. Read up on it, very interesting. During this period, bugs and amphibians were having a field day on land. And in the sea, shockingly, 75% of fish species from the previous period died off. Some of these fish included armor fish called placoderms, which very few survived. That left the door wide open for sharks to walk, or swim, I guess, right through. One group of these sharks were the stethacanthids, the sharks with the toothbrush head. Yeah, now you can't unsee that. They were two foot long sharks that mainly lived in warm shallow waters. These were just one example of the vast diversification sharks go through during adaptive radiation, where mother nature tests a wide range of body plans, some of which make sharks like the hammerhead look basic. One example all of you might be familiar with is what happened when the dinosaurs died off. That was the catalyst that gave rise to mammal adaptive radiation which in turn led to man. Our human society is going through rapid changes of its own here in the digital age. Because of this, as king of the shark's world, I implore you all to adopt the mindset of the shark and adapt to the many changes happening to your life so that you can take advantage of new resources and new opportunities. Legally, of course. You would think I wouldn't have to say that, but there's always one. With that, this is going to be where we end the video. Let me know your thoughts on adaptive radiation and whether or not you read the articles in the description. Thank you once again for giving me some of your time, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then.